Listen, man, we got breaking news in the sport of boxing right now, and this is crazy. This is definitely puts a, a bad light on that victory. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Garcia has tested positive for PEDs. You know, um, the, the substance is a strain. Um, he was he tested the day before and the day of the upset win over Devin Haney. This is per Vada letter obtained by ESPN. Garcia has 10 days to request his B sample. Um, pardon me. Um, he has 10 days to request his B sample be tested. A sample also screened positive for 19 um, Norma Strong's, pardon me. But um, things are saying it's unconfirmed. So this is definitely a, a very nasty look, you know, um, what has come out. A lot of people was already trying to discredit Ryan Garcia and his victory already. And now this is just like I said, this is just this is huge. You know, um, if you are a Devin Haney fan, you, you have to be feeling some kind of way. Um, like I said, at the end, he, he ended the dream, you know. Um, Devin the Dream Haney, you know, a lot of people, like I said, they just, they, they, they went off um, uh, of the matter. But it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, nobody's seen um, that, that, that coming, you know, the way he just, just dogged Devin, you know, because Devin already, it was the remarks, this is, this, he's the far superior boxer, you know, so now it's going to be interesting to see how do um, they handle this, you know, the commission? Um, because, like I said, this definitely, if this is this is true. I mean, this ain't this is not how you probably you want to see Devin lose that undefeated streak. You wanted to see him go toe to toe, you know, with a guy who the, the level field was play, the playing field was level. You know, you don't want to see this. Um, make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe to Flight Sports TV. Because in that match, if you, if you, like I said, all screw reports all aside for a second, you know, um, Ryan Garcia looked bigger. He looked, he just looked like a man in there. You know, he was just the way he was just throwing Devin around. You know, um, who's seen that coming? You know, uh, so Ryan Garcia has definitely opened up a can of worms. Uh, right now, so I think it's gonna be some backpedaling. He's already came out and denied it. We're gonna get into his remarks as well on, on this. But at the end of the day, man, this is a bad look for the sport of boxing because that fight was just highly publicized. Everybody watched it. It was covered all over, and for for the outcome to be an upset victory, and everybody's in the uproar now. Is coming out that he cheated. You know, from report because if that's if this is the case, clearly it was a cheat. Now we do know it's times where supplements are, you know, um, have been passed on, and and I'm not saying that couldn't be the case, you know, because I'm pretty sure it's been athletes who they didn't know what was going on. You know, they you don't know what they taking. They taking these dietary supplements. They taking these drinks um and things like that they got these nutritionists coming in with these different things and you know they, they you don't know you know so i'm not saying that that's the case in this instance you know but i'm just like you know that goes on you know in all sports um garcia came out on x he says everybody knows i don't cheat he says never taking a steroid i don't even know where to get steroids i barely take supplements big lies he beat him um, so like I said, he, he dropped Devin Haney three times, you know, the referee had to come in and hold it down for him. You know, um, as I'm, as I'm reading into it, it says a strain is a selective androgen receptor, uh, modulator, which attaches to proteins in the body and effectively tells muscles to grow. It is used to aid performance by helping athletes build muscle mass and enhance their rate of fat loss and also to increase stamina and recovery ability um so it's it's wild so it's been um on the on the anti-agency uh, ban list since 2008 and in 2022 was listed as a anabolic um at agent by wider pardon me a strain has been used in boxing before 
Uh, but says Lucane Butte tested positive for it in 2016 following a draw with Baru Jack in the WBC super middleweight title fight. The result was changed to a DQ win for Jack. Um, so it, it, it's definitely wild. So could we see a situation like this happening now? You know, could could the tables be turned and reversed with this win with Devin? And like I said, I think um, at the end of the day, everybody's going to see you know, what happened in there. But Devin, Bill, they got it out now, you know, and this is going to be hard. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this win did get reversed, you know, because, um, like I said, Devin Haney was a cash cow for top rank. You know, these guys going to come out. Uh, it was – obviously, we knew it was going to be a big fight with Shakur Stevenson possibly, um, even in the even in the works. Like I said, it could be Tia Fimo, um, a lot of different – you got Pitbull out there. Even though I think he needs to stay away from Pitbull. But um, clearly, Devin got exposed in that fight. So no matter what, there's going to be a pathway to victory for Devin Haney, you know, uh, but – Ryan Garcia, this definitely wasn't a good victory. So I, I can't wait to Golden Boy if somebody comes out and speaks. Uh, I know Oscar got his hands full right now with everything going on with Canelo. We're going to break that down as well. So it's very important that you subscribe to Flight Sports TV. You know, this is just a, it's just bad news, man. Um, we Boxing don't need this. I just I, I, that, That's one thing I'm going to keep emphasizing, that this is bad for boxing because um, – I want to say that boxing is in almost like the golden period, you know, in this new age. We all know boxing back in the days was, you know, this, this, and that. But I think boxing now, more than ever, the stars is starting to, everything is starting to come to life, you know, cross divisions, you know. And you have stack card after stack card. Like, if you look at some of these cards that's, you know, out there, you know, it's huge. You know, and it's not like this was some no-name guy. You know what has happened to this was Ryan Garcia. Um, he just is on a world tour, you know, uh, right. off this victory, you know. So what what are, what are the people gonna say now? Um, he was just hanging with Deion Sanders. Who, who who's gonna condone this? You know, real put people that's in the game and in, in any sport. Nobody nobody likes a cheater. You understand? So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how much public appearances he makes now after this. Um, you know, and what's going to be the, the backlash? How is how's the boxing world going to take this? What are going to be the steps to correcting this? You know, if all of this is true, you know, so he does have some some avenues he could take uh, to navigate this, but um, it is what it is. Um, we, we, we're going we're gonna to get back to it. Uh, we got a lot of boxing coming your way. Make sure you hit the like button and most definitely hit the subscribe button. You already know it's Flight Sports TV. Ryan Garcia has tested positive. Peace.